are currently building an extremely wide Porsche 928. This is a 1983 chassis, and we are significantly modifying it. Now, in the last video, we welded on the driver's side quarter panel. We're taking a break from that, and we're gonna switch to the driver's side rocker now. There is a lot of work to be done, so let's get to it. So I think our first step is gonna be getting this brake line across the bottom of this panel, because right now it's just open. Um, I gotta break that over with a nice crisp edge. After we get that, we're gonna probably end up taking all of this off and figuring out how everything's gonna lay out. Get our scribe marks and whatnot, cut back the rocker. And uh, how we're gonna attach this to here. There's so many layers to this. I'm like, yeah, this will be easy. I'm just gotta weld it on. No, it's not that easy. There's a lot more to it. But look at this quarter panel. He's so pretty. Mm. Stare it all day. Stop staring, Logan, it's mine. The almighty yardstick nozzle. Get this flange seated because I'm going to be scribing, cutting, and then welding this seam right here. So these two are mated to each other. They're brought together as one in holy <laughs> matrimony. <laughs> I really like how you're sitting on a bucket right now when you have a you like stool that? like within arm's reach. This stool's been around for like, actually I was given this stool by the detail guy at the shop I used to work at when I switched over from being a detail guy to doing collision repair. Right. This stool's definitely seen some better days. <laughs> it's a good thing that this video is sponsored by Vavor. This video has been sponsored by Vavor and they supplied us with this brand new garage stool. This rolling garage stool supports 300 pounds of weight has an adjustable height range, and is built to last. So if you want to get your own or want to learn more, there's a link in the description below and also a discount code on us. Eat that old school. <laughs> you think I can make it over that cable on the ground, these big wheels? Yeah. I, I committed to it. <laughs> I think this side is closer to what we're after. That side looks like it just needs a little more refinement. It's just, it's not quite flat right here. There's just, okay. it, it, and, Well, you uh, can't see both sides at the same time, so I don't know what the problem is. Well, I only want to look at this side then. <laughs> passenger side, so when, you, when, when the customer picks you up for right, dinner or right, something like yep. that, you can hop from the passenger side, you can see the side. Yep, it's fine. There you go, perfect. You want to try the roller chair? It's really fun. <laughs> and it runs over any object in the room. <laughs> any object. Don't don't mind the don't yeah. mind the dust. The run over Roger. Don't run over Roger. That's not his contract. Yeah. I'm gonna, in, I'm gonna be in the background. You know, from here, <laughs> you might need to. There it is, a patch piece or a beak. Let's call me Toucan Sam. It'll end up filling in like that. Nice. That should look nice. So now that part's done, I can now set up this, which is obviously rough still. I need to do some finishing work to it. I have to locate it about there, but slip back a little bit more. So, away! <laughs> Look at that. I just uh, cut it back some. Oh, no, wait. 
I thought I had it. <laughs> I was pre I was a little too early in that one. By hammering it with this uh, flat edge, it's kind of like a, like a, hey, what, what do we call that edge? I don't know, uh, chisel? Sure, we'll call it the chisel edge. By hammering with the chisel edge, it's actually literally stretching it for the most part. So if, I'm, if I have the metal between here and I'm hitting it, it's gonna wanna stretch this way. It's not gonna stretch in a circle like if I hit it on this side. It's amazing what having just that tiny little rounded edge on there, uh, how much better that looks than a, yeah. than a cut off piece. Yep. And so like the other thing, we gotta figure out this hole. Just what I was saying, like these, obviously we're not leaving cut off edges like that. Are you gonna try and work this hole after you put that piece on? We could leave cut off edges like that. We could, I'm saying we could, and we don't have to. I could, you know, I could bevel it in a little bit like I did like, like flange it over. Right, I mean, I, I, yeah, a cut off edge right there I would, I would despise. Okay. Spies. Spies. That's very strong. That's stronger, that's stronger than hate. <laughs> Did I stutter? The spy. Oh, wow. Good, good, good combo break. Okay, so, I mean, the other thing I could do is... All right, Roger. It's your time to shine, boy. Don't let us down. That wasn't too bad, was it, Roger? He's unsure. <laughs> he's, he's, he's speechless. It's like he just beat my mouth against that. I don't know what I'm supposed to say to that. I, I had it just right. <laughs> you made it worse. But I made it worse. Oh, no. It's just one of those things you'll have in these bigger jobs. This is very awkward. I'm gonna look that way. Close up our inspection. Yeah, so it pulls up my inspection hole here I made. Because yeah, yeah. this line forward is actually heavy structure and. Which we expected. Which we kind of expected. Um, I was hoping it wasn't, and that was the case that actually there's an inner rocker that was strong, and this is skin on the outside like some cars, like the Slantos is that way, the 996. So I'm gonna weld the back shot, weld the shut. Right here there's a seam where this, the dog leg lapped over top the original quarter, or, uh, rocker structure, and they led it over top of it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna weld this back shut. This is still gonna stay cut back here. I'm gonna peel that out. I'm gonna butt weld here, add some structure underneath here to tie it in. But this forward's gonna have to be lapped, which, as many of you know, I hate. But there's no other way to do it, unfortunately. Structure is always lapped. Structure's lapped, period. So we're gonna do the best we can to get a nice fuse on the top edge, and then it's gonna end up getting nice epoxy, tons of cavity wax on the backside, and some fiber reinforced filler. I don't have a choice. This is the only time I'm okay with lapping. Structure, that up here, this does not need to be lapped. So in last week's video, we said we're giving away one of these Eastwood Take 200 LCDs for free to one of you guys, and that is still true. We also said every single week, there's going to be a prompt that you comment down below, and every time you enter one of these prompts, you get an additional entry to winning this welder three weeks from now. So this week's prompt is, what have you learned on this channel that you want to put into practice or have put into practice into your own work. Comment down below and we'll make sure that that's an additional entry for you towards winning a free Eastwood Take 200 LCD. And as always, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and you like this video for an entry because if you don't do that, your entry doesn't count. So I'm watching you. <laughs> Not only did I drop them, I threw them accidentally, <laughs> and they landed in all the dirt. 
Mmm, earwax and dirt. <laughs> and metal shavings. Uh, a pox upon you. A pox. Look at all the metal is like stuck to them. Oh, oh man, I don't want to put that in my ear. I was trying to be really careful. I haven't used these for a week yet and it already happened. I'm now accepting applications for uh, apprentices. You're gonna be doing this all day, but no, I'm really not actually, but <laughs> if it wasn't for free, <laughs> just strip this whole car for me, please. Thank you. That'd be nice. I finally have the rocker welded on just the top here, and except the scoop's welded on and it's spliced to itself. The underside is not done yet. We're gonna have to box that in. Like I said, I need to do some reinforcements inside the scoop underneath, and then also I need to put the panel on the back here, weld that on, but I'm not ready to do that yet. There's a lot that needs to happen and some things that need to be cleaned up on this. I'm also not terribly happy with the finish of the rocker here. It's a lot lumpier than I'd like and there's some gouges in it from the planching hammer when we first were trying to shape this. So I gotta go through the hammer and dolly and clean that up, which isn't a big deal, but it needs to be done and this is not the time for that. <laughs> I'm gonna put the wheel on now. We're gonna put it down and see how it looks all cohesive like. So I'm happy with it. Um, I'm happy with how it's located. I'm happy with the progress we made this week. There's some grinding that needs to be done with the welds and whatnot. Um, it's just not the time for that. So we're gonna skip past that for now. We're gonna continue on the rest of the car and the pieces that need to be done. And we will revisit this and box in the bottom probably about the same time that we do on that on the other side as well. Um, I wanna leave it open for access for any kind of tweaking that needs to be done. It's kind of important when you're building a car to not put yourself in a hole that you can't dig yourself back out of. So I'm gonna avoid that altogether and we're gonna let it be, we're gonna let it lie. We're gonna, we're gonna sleep on it or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching guys. Drop a like if you can and next week, we'll be back on the 928 again. So stay tuned guys, later.